Nothing better than a nice cigarette and a loogie for breakfast. <laughs> it's the Cambodian way. I have to pee! So, Linda says that I, when I ask, like when we were in Thailand and I was asking people stuff, she was saying that I asked too much details about them. First of all, I did not say it like that. You hear what you want to hear and then you, you make a whole fucking assumption sorry, out of here. Sorry, sorry. So, let's just get this out of the way. Brian finds out if, someone's on American. He, he'll ask about the most, like, confrontational, not confrontational. traumatizing thing. we Because in America, we learn about, like, the horrific things of other places. And you'll be like, you'll say something. Like, Brian found out this woman was from Korea. And he pretty much tried to know if she escaped North Korea. No, I didn't. That's not what I said. <laughs> I said, do you know anyone who escaped North Korea? That's different. Why can't you just be like, well, how do you like America? How has your how has it been here? Or like just ask about herself. You don't gotta ask her about the most traumatic parts of her culture. But the thing that I'm thinking more of, I'm not thinking that I I'm not thinking like, oh, you're like a object in a museum. I'm thinking like I wanna find oh, exactly out about your culture. And I feel like in my opinion, the way I see it is if you're asking about someone's culture's history, it's like a very nice thing to do. And I feel like people get happy when you ask them about their culture. He means well. Yeah, exactly. But whatever. It's hot in here. All right, whatever. She 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 told me this, and then also someone else told me this, and I'm like, God damn it! I'm it's because like, he means well, but the thing sometimes is, sometimes it comes off as like, that's is that all I am to you? Yeah. And by the way, guys, we're in Cambodia town. Yes, which it's a small little area in Long Beach, California. We just figured out this place even existed a couple weeks ago. We live in LA, for those of you who don't know, SoCal, and Long Beach is like southeast, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, pretty much. It's yeah. another beach area. Is it east? Or it's east? where uh, it's where Snoop Doggy Dog is from. Mm -hmm. Fun fact: My dad used to live here when I was a kid, and before I was born, he went to a record shop, and Snoop Dogg was working there. That's pretty wild. I know he tells me that all the time. Like, that is a cool thing. It'd be cool to meet him. So the place we're going right now is called Nam Pen Noodle Shack. And we passed by to find parking, and there was already, like, people outside waiting. This place is pretty popular um, out here. Found it on TikTok. The OG owners came from Cambodia. They, I believe, directly came from Thailand, though, because they fled to Thailand. After the Vietnam War. Yeah. I forget the name of it, but pretty much the Cambodian genocide. Yeah. So they fled there in, like, the 80s, and then came here and opened up this noodle shack and i think it's awesome that it's a family business like it's stayed family owned and pretty sure the kids take over now so that's what it seemed like yeah yeah the... so that's awesome and the food looks so freaking good so we're gonna yeah if you want to read about it we can leave the website in the description or yeah, something we should do that. Brian got stage fright, so he switched sides of the table. This menu looks amazing. We ended up getting small egg noodle and the bone in broth. If you get the noodle dry, you can get a uh, broth on the side, which seems awesome because I like controlling my broth ratio. <laughs> and then we got the seafood mix stir fry noodles. That looks delicious. And then everyone has been saying we have to try this breadstick, so can't wait for that. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Lola? We just left. I got a nice iced coffee to go because I saw like 800 people order one and it looks so <laughs> good. And then we got more of the fried breadstick. The, the long bread was really good in there. If anyone has ever tried like Navajo fried bread, that's exactly what it tastes like. It's so good. I think we're gonna go look for a place to get dessert now. Guys, I'm sure you can tell by now, but we're still adjusting to filming in public settings. I don't know what it is that is so awkward about sitting down and eating somewhere and trying to be yourself on camera. Especially Brian. Brian was like, not having it. He was like this, trying to eat and make sure no one can like see him. I don't want it to be like cringe when you're filming and so, but I need to stop even caring, honestly. Ooh, another mural. Oh, that one's cool. someone sitting on the floor right outside sharpening a really big knife. <laughs> Imaginary forces. Ready, let's go. 